Welcome to this quick tour of SnapLogic Monitor. We'll start with the Insights page, which provides an overview of environment use. The summary statistics update once a day and include useful information such as the number of users in the environment. The summary includes assets such as pipelines, snaps, tasks, snaplexes, files, projects, and endpoint accounts. And runtime information on the number of pipeline executions, documents processed, and API calls. Graphs categorize executions by the way they were invoked. The asset catalog is available to enterprise SnapLogic customers by request. If not enabled, it doesn't display in the navigation bar. The asset catalog provides visibility of tasks and pipelines to simplify governance and reuse. It displays metadata for tasks and pipelines such as the name, creator, path, and invocation type. In addition to the information available from the assets themselves, the asset catalog includes inferred facts, such as the source and target endpoints for a pipeline. You can also add custom metadata relevant to your business. Next, we'll look at the pipeline executions. The default view of pipeline executions lists not running pipelines that completed or failed in the last hour. The most recent execution shows at the top of the table. These buttons provide one-click filters. Even without a filter, we can immediately spot the failed executions highlighted in red. You can expand the time window to include older executions. From the calendar, data is available for the last 45 days for regular executions and 15 days for ultra pipelines. Let's search by pipeline name to find the transform and write pipeline. We'll click an execution. The details panel opens. From here we can view snap statistics, pipeline logs, and pipeline parameters. Now we'll take a look at the infrastructure running the executions. The system overview displays resource usage graphs for all snaplexes in the environment. The top of the page summarizes the number of virtual CPUs and available RAM for all snaplexes. Monitor reports metrics in base 2 gigabytes. A set of graph bars for each node show the average percentage of memory, CPU, and disk use. The carrots mark the maximum values during the selected time period. Bars and carrots are color coded. Green indicates values up to 45%. Yellow indicates up to 75%. Red indicates over 75%. Hover over a node to view the exact values. Click a node to view its details panel. The details panel header shows how long the node has been running and when it sent the last heartbeat. It includes information about the host, such as the operating system, disk space, and total memory. The associated executions tab displays first and lists the pipelines that ran on the node during the selected time period. Graphs on the Metrics tab provide statistics about the host and the SnapLex service use of resources over time. In this case, the Alerts tab is empty. Node alerts are generated when initialization fails, nodes crash, or nodes fail to communicate. The Additional Details tab header provides the node's IP address and URI. The Node Diagnostics table shows the result of automatic diagnostics tests for this node. The first six rows of the table report on configurable parameters. Parameters that are currently outside of the recommended value show at the top with red text. This helps you identify the options to change for better performance and stability. Next, we will check node resource usage over time from the metrics page. First, we select a node. Each node has its own set of graphs. The graphs provide data not available in the system overview, such as file descriptors, active threads, and network traffic. Next, we'll maximize the system load chart. A spike occurred at 2 p.m. Let's see what caused it. Drag the cursor to select the spike. The pipelines that executed during the selected period display. This pipeline failed multiple times, possibly contributing to the spike in system load. To troubleshoot, we could select an execution and open it in the execution overview we saw earlier. In extreme cases, system overload can cause a node to become unresponsive. When a node fails to respond, it generates an alert. Node alerts display on the alert history page. We can filter the alert history by alert type and select the date range. We can also download a log of alerts, which can be useful to SnapLogic support if you request their help. Other activities in the environment are visible on the activity logs page. Many event types are captured in activity logs. The filter dropdown lists all event types. 
We'll finish the tour with the API metrics page. This page is only available in environments subscribed to API management or ultra tasks. The graphs give you a quick visual check on important statistics, such as the number of requests, percentage of errors, latency, and the top APIs requested. That completes the tour of Monitor, the place to keep your finger on the pulse of your SnapLogic environment. Thanks for watching.